question, but who or what is the Yu-Gi-Oh mascot? For those that don't know, a mascot could be a character, a monster, or a symbol from the Yu-Gi-Oh franchise that essentially is a representation of the brand. It's a thing that like, say someone said to you, Yu-Gi-Oh, what's the first thing that you think of? What comes to mind first? I asked this question because for some franchises, it's like super easy to know what the mascot is. For example, Pokemon. The mascot of Pokemon is Pikachu. <laughs> This is made obvious thanks to the fact that it's everywhere, it's beloved and recognizable by many, there's tons of merch associated with it. Obviously, of course, this all stems from the fact that Pikachu is the main character's ace Pokemon, if you will, main Pokemon, whatever you want to call it, friend. And to really bring this home as well, when the 25th anniversary of Pokemon happened, what was the logo for the 25th anniversary? It was a Pikachu. This fact rolls over into real life as well, by the way. I went to a anime museum exhibit thing in London. Who was the Pokemon to greet me for the anime exhibit? It was Pikachu. Another example for the Digimon franchise, its mascot is Ogumon. Now I'll level with you all. I'm only familiar with the original Digimon series and Digimon Tamers and that one movie where it was like three movies all smushed together or something, but you wouldn't know when you were a kid, but then you realize later. The point I'm trying to make is I'm not as savvy with it, but from what I hear, Ogumon is the Pikachu of the Digimon franchise. Mascots don't just have to be like the monsters or creatures from the show as well. It can actually be people, like for example, for the Overwatch franchise, its mascot would be the character Tracer. You know, the world could always use more heroes. <laughs> Unique character with like a good personality and everything that you'd want to put forward as like your showpiece character kind of thing. And also, if you ever watched the film Ready Player One, who was the Overwatch character that appeared? Why, of course, it was Tracer. So with all that said, what is the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise's mascot? Because it doesn't really have one. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of candidates for this position. There's a lot of cute little monsters that you could have for the mascot. There's a lot of cool characters that you'd want to put as the face of the franchise and everything. And there's a couple symbols that appear in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series that could make a good franchise mascot symbol in a way. For how long the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise has been going on for, and the fact that if you compare it to, let's just say Pokemon, there is a very definitive mascot to that series. It's Pikachu, you know for a fact it's that Pokemon, and it's what you think of when you think of Pokemon, when they want to have a Pokemon in the real world, in dress up or whatever, they'll probably pick Pikachu, let's not get me wrong. So for today, I've made a list of potential candidates for a definitive mascot for the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. I've broken it down into three categories. Character mascots, so these are actual characters from the show that can serve as the face of the brand. The second category is monster mascots. One of the monsters serves as the face of the brand in a way. And the third one is a symbol mascot, which is a unique symbol that appears in the series that I think people think of when they think of Yu-Gi-Oh. I think symbol mascots are probably the least great as a mascot, because you can't really have a, a symbol thing walking around on the streets dressed up or anything like that. Regardless, let's just go for it anyway. So let's start first with character mascots. Now, in terms of characters for the Yu-Gi-Oh franchise that I think could serve as a mascot for the series, I think there are only two viable choices. For everything that we're talking about today, I think the only way you're going to get a mascot is if it's from the original series. There is, I think, one thing on my list today that breaks that rule. But for the majority of things, I feel like mascots for franchises always come from the source material, the very original. And in this case, the only two characters I could see being the mascot of the franchise are the main character, Yugi, specifically his doppelganger, dark half, Yami Yugi. And the only other one that has a chance is, of course, Seto Kaiba, his main rival. These are the two most iconic characters from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series. I mean, when I think about all like the merchandise and stuff that comes out for Yu-Gi-Oh!, it's normally like Yugi is the main character taking you around on games and everything like that, and Kaiba's always there somewhere. However, for example, something like Duel Links, the mascot of Duel Links, I would say, is actually Seto Kaiba in that game, because 
Dual Links is a program that Kaiba created, and he's kind of the one that orchestrated the Dual Links game. There's like a whole lore thing underneath it and everything. I feel like Yugi and Kaiba could both very easily serve as the mascot for the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. I'm curious to see if like a poll, who do you think is the cooler character or the more recognizable character? Would it be Yugi or Kaiba? I think Yugi, he has such a unique design and everything. In the same way that I think Ash could have been the mascot for Pokemon in a way, I think Yugi could have been that as well. But I, I don't think it's the strongest thing. I feel like Yugi is such a hard character to, if you did want to have like a a real world mascot walking around greeting people and everything. Yugi's a very hard one to do. You'd have to give him like a bobblehead kind of look or something because I don't know if you've ever seen like people that cosplay as Yugi. That hair is impossible to uh, to get right. Even his perfectly coiffed hair. In fact, that part is what took the longest. Monster mascots. Given that Pikachu is the much more memorable mascot of the Pokemon franchise, I think it only makes sense that that same thing applies to the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. Uh, and of course, with Digimon, it was Ogamon, another monster from that series. So what are the most recognizable monsters in the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise? When people think of Yu-Gi-Oh!, they think of these monsters. Well, I think there's a couple that branch out into general knowledge. They probably don't know much about Yu-Gi-Oh!, but they've probably heard that term. They're like, oh, that's uh, one of those Yu-Gi-Mons, right? I, I know that thing. So I feel like the only two that really have that honor is yet again Yugi and Kaiba's ace monsters which is the dark magician and the blue eyes white dragon dark magician of course is the main character's ace so like it's recognizable I feel like there's a lot of alternative versions of dark magician that they've made so it's a very recognizable face whereas with blue eyes white dragon I feel like that's kind of the Charizard card of the Yu-Gi-Oh franchise if you will I don't know how best to explain that but like if Dark Magician is the Pikachu, then Blue Eyes is the Charizard. It's like the, the really awesome card that everybody wants, but it's not the face of the franchise kind of thing. Everybody likes a Charizard card. Everybody wants the Charizard card. Pokemon keep making new and awesome different versions of Charizard. And that's kind of the same with Blue Eyes in a way, isn't it? When they print new Blue Eyes support, there is a fan base behind that. It's not the most meta thing in the world, but Blue Eyes... I would say is probably one of the most recognizable Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the franchise. So, firstly for me, I, I actually think Blue Eyes is, could be more of a mascot than the Dark Magician as well. I don't know, there's something more appealing about having a non-humanoid mascot, but a dragon is kind of a, a, a big one to go for. Sometimes you want something really cute as well as a mascot, and you want something quite simply designed because you could just make a plushie of it and you could just sell that because it's your mascot and everything. So with that in mind, I would say Karibo also has a chance of being the mascot of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. And I think it's the one that probably deserved to be the mascot the most because Karibo, what, what is Karibo? Karibo's like going back to Pokemon. I'm pretty sure Clefairy was meant to be the mascot of Pokemon, but people just liked Pikachu more, which makes sense anyway. So Clefairy, no one gives a crap about Clefairy anymore. I feel like <laughs> Karibo is kind of that. They almost start with the same first letter in their name anyway. Yeah, it's a simple design. It's easy to market and everything, and it's very cute. Also, the most important thing, it has appeared in, I'm pretty sure, every main character's deck in some form in every single series. And I don't know how true that is. And there's Karibo in Yugi's deck. There's Winged Karibo in Jaden's deck. There's a Junk Karibo or something in Yusei's deck. I actually can't remember. Did it Karibo Vault? No. There was definitely one in the Zexa one. I think it had like rainbow hair or something. And then I don't remember if there was one in Arc 5. I don't remember that one. And there was definitely one in Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns. It was Link Karibo. And the villain of that series had Ling Karibo, uh, which was a different one as well. I don't know. I feel like Karibo really deserved to be the mascot, but I don't know. I don't really see it that much. They do a little bit of merch towards it and everything. I don't think people would know what the hell a Karibo is if they looked at it, so it's not that recognizable. So, mm, never mind. Now, this one is a personal preference of mine. Now, there is a monster that is not associated with the original series, and it's called Poor Guide from the Underworld. Now, I don't think this should be a mascot, but I do want to talk about it for a minute because I feel like Tour Guide 
what it could have been to the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise if they did their marketing a little bit different. I don't know if you've ever played Genshin Impact, but they have a character in Genshin called Paimon. And Paimon's their mascot, if you will. And it, I'm pretty sure it also does the their Twitter page. It's as if Paimon is doing the Twitter posts and everything. I feel like if Yu-Gi-Oh! wanted to do something a little bit similar to that, they could have made Tall Guy from the Underworld the spokesperson for the brand. It's like you make a 3D model thing of it. You hire a voice actor to be a, a, a distinct voice for the character as well. And you use Tour Guide to sort of talk about upcoming events happening with the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise, products coming out. Hey, everybody. It's uh, <laughs> my Tour Guide voice. Did you know the new Maze of Millennia is coming out this week? Blah, blah, blah. Inside you can find. That'd be kind of cool to attach a face to the brand of Yu-Gi-Oh! And the face you'd think of was Tour Guide from the Underworld. If you want to do a really big brain play, you make a new of the Underworld card called like Spokesperson of the Underworld, and you make that your definitive spokesperson for the franchise. But I just thought it'd be kind of cool. I think they do use Tour Guide from the Underworld as the, the helper on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. I might have made that up though, but I think she's the one that helps you in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So I think that's where I've got the idea of that specific monster being the spokesperson for Yu-Gi-Oh! But she wouldn't be the mascot, I don't think. But then again, if you make her the spokesperson, she probably would end up becoming the mascot after a while because she'd be the face you think of you think of Yu-Gi-Oh! in a way. So, I don't know. Kind of cool. The only other Yu-Gi-Oh! cards that are synonymous with Yu-Gi-Oh! that have mainstream popular appeal and people could think of are the Egyptian God cards. I don't think they're that popular outside of people that know Yu-Gi-Oh! really, really well. And I guess Dark Magician Girl is kind of up there as well, but again, not as strong. I feel like Exodia is a good face of the franchise, to be honest with you, as well. It's... I don't know. Exodia, it appears on a lot of the marketing stuff as well. I'm pretty sure it's the, the main monster of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. I'm actually not too sure. Following on from the monsters, we have the final category, which is the symbol mascot. What do I mean by symbol mascot? Well, th there's some iconic symbols that appear in Yu-Gi-Oh! that I think could serve as sort of a mascot in a way. Obviously, there's the Yu-Gi-Oh! logo, but that's not really a mascot, that's the logo. Millennium Puzzle, specifically when you simplify the Millennium Puzzle down into that sort of shape. I don't know, I feel like that could be, in a way, the mascots of Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't really know. I don't know how I feel about a, a symbol being the, the mascot for a franchise or anything, but... The Millennium Puzzle symbol, I think I really do associate it with Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything to do with Yu-Gi-Oh! I'd say that is really identifiable with the brand and everything. I know, just from that upside-down pyramid shape and everything, that is the Millennium Puzzle. That is Yu-Gi's main Millennium item, and it reflects the whole series in general. So I think that's really cool. The other thing as well, this is just a small thing, but the back of Yu-Gi-Oh! card, that identifiable swirl pattern, that's kind of... I feel like you see that in a lot of marketing. They always sort of incorporate like a swirl into like background things that are going on and everything. But you can't really make that a, a mascot for the franchise. So I think out of everything that we've talked today, I don't think the symbols can serve as the mascot for Yu-Gi-Oh! But they potentially could. I feel like the characters for this franchise, Yu-Gi definitely has a strong chance. Kaiba sort of has a chance. I can't see any other characters from the franchise breaking into that role, especially ones from the newer series, just because they're not as popular as the uh, the original. But I think the monsters have the best chance, and out of the ones that I've talked about today, if they did more with Tour Guide from the Underworld as a spokesperson that eventually transitions to the face of the brand, that could have been something. I don't really know between Dark Magician and Blue Eyes which one would be the more iconic monster to serve as the mascot. I'm actually not too sure. And the Karibo, I feel like it should have been the mascot, but it just never achieved that height. But it still has that potential to, to be that kind of thing. I guess they make quite a few plushies of it, so maybe they do see it as a mascot in a way. And of course, there's some of the other monsters, but I feel like those are the ones that had the biggest chance. And there's always a chance there actually is a mascot for Yu-Gi-Oh! I've just completely missed it, and I probably should have done a bit more research before this, but... When you Google Yu-Gi-Oh! mascot, don't really get anything come up, really, do you? So, I thought it would be fun if I ask all of you to decide on the Yu-Gi-Oh! mascot. So, the way you're going to do that 
is if you go to my community post page on this channel, there's a voting system right there. Or if you'd rather do it on Twitter, do a voting system right there. And then based on the results, I'll put the rankings for what you guys voted on in the pinned comments down below to see what you all think should be the definitive mascots of the Yu-Gi-Oh franchise. And since it's only fair that I give my opinion as well, I personally would have liked Tour Guide from the Underworld to be the mascot. It's not from the original series. It's a waifu anime design, so it has definitely has some appeal to broader audiences and everything. Yeah, I just thought I'd talk about this today. I thought it was a, a kind of fun little discussion. I just randomly thought of and I thought I'd uh, expand on here. So I hope you all enjoyed the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later. Bye, everyone.